What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be analyzing my theories and the teaser and um, the new leaks that just got released for 2024 Spear Halloween. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is going to be a full breakdown video. And first, I just want to show you guys a slowed down version of the trailer, the normal trailer, and I'm going to give you guys all the information that I know as of right now. Okay, so there's not much you can really pick up from the trailer, just not slow down or anything. So now I'll show you guys the slow down version of the trailer. But from the main trailer, really all you see is a clown taking out a little piece of paper. Okay, so that was released on April 29th of this year, obviously. And as you can see from the slowed, you get a little bit better of a perspective, but there's still not a lot you see unless you take screenshots. So let's analyze the trailer and then let's get into the sneak peeks that were released today. But first we're going to go over the few screenshots that I took from the video and we're going to go over some theories and some theories that I've said that have been correct and other haunters have said that have been correct. So no further ado, let's get into it. So the first one we have is already a humongous one and a theory that I had correct. So I said, I was watching the Spirit Swamp Taurus video and I saw that there was a beware of dog sign next to Cerberus. And there happened to be one in this video too. And I watched a ton of other haunters and they all said that it had to do something with a man's possessed friend, but he has returned every year and I think he sucks. So I thought Cerberus. Now, if you don't know who Cerberus is, he is a three-headed dog animatronic released in 2015 from Spirit Halloween, and he is making a return for the 2024 season. He is a really awesome animatronic, and if you're on this channel and you have not seen Cerberus, well, you gotta go do some more research. Now, I've made a theory that Cerberus was going to return for the 2024 season, because as you can see, the Beware of Dog sign that we see in the trailer is also in the Spirit Halloween Swamp Tours. And um, this is just pretty cool because I actually actually didn't really know for sure if he was going to return or not. And he ended up returning. So now I'm in a pickle if I want to get him or not because he's awesome. But there's also like Twitching Banshee. So that is the first picture of the Beware of Dog sign. And I know I'm covering this video late, but I just wanted to do a full breakdown with everything, including what happened today. So next up here is a smiley face, which even with the new thing that came out today, we still do not know for sure what this means. It could be multiple of the props, but we have no clue for sure. This could just be a smiley face throwing people off, or this could be a smiley face referring to an animatronic that is gonna be available this year. We are gonna have to wait to see because other than that, there's not a lot you can get from this picture besides the smiley face and the picture of the pole from the ticket booth into the welcome um, to Spear Halloween 2024 video. Now, this next one here is a little confusing because there's a couple animatronics that everybody thought this was gonna be. They thought it was gonna be a new animatronic or Uncle Charlie returning. Uncle Charlie returning would be cool because he is a clown and he would fit in with the circus, but I'm not really sure that I would want him to return because to be totally honest, hot take, I'm not the biggest fan of Uncle Charlie. I just don't really like how he looks and I don't like what he does. Now, if you cannot tell by this one, this is um, Silts the Clown from the 2023 season. And as you can see, it says live show at the bottom of his poster. Um, in the sneak peeks we got today, we did not see a Stilts the Clown, even though I feel like he would be cool in the circus theme, but also I do not really like this guy because I think he's way too colorful and I do not like his price. $350 for a 7 foot 9 clown who doesn't have any mouth movement and just moves side to side while his head turns. So this next one has a picture of Monty and it says limited time something, I cannot read it, and then it says you won't and I can also not read that. It is a bag or a paper, I think. I think it is a paper. And we it does have a picture of Monty. Monty would fit in them with the circus theme, but another hot take, I do not really like him either. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of spirit props I don't like. Moving on to the last one. So this last photo you cannot tell a lot from. It is just a ticket booth that um, that 
the thing is circling around. And there's not a lot you can get from this besides the fact that this season is going to be totally awesome because we had a ton of sneak peeks. And you can also see more stars on the side as it zooms out to finish the thing. This was a lot. This was five minutes of information for a six second video. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for what happened today. So today, Spear Halloween dropped a nuke on us while they dropped these pictures of what is going to be showing up for, for the 2024 season. We have um, that the main attractions, we have featuring, we have returns, we have war rife, worldwide uh, entertainers, Blast from the Past, and Curiosities. So there's a lot we have to go over for this part too. For this one... It is a little confusing because there's the ringmaster who everybody is thinking is going to be rotten ringmaster. But I think it's going to be a new animatronic since it is a main attraction and he's going to be pretty big. There's also Nibbles the Clown, which is the little clown in KG the Clown's cage, which is really cool. There's Bobby Strings, Cotton Candy Dan, and Barnaby. Er, oh my gosh, Barnaby the Bear. I don't know why I said Barnaby. And those are the main attractions. So let's go over each one and analyze what we think they're going to be for this 2024 season. Starting off with the Ringmaster. So this is either going to be the Rotten Ringmaster, who I'll include a picture of here, or a brand new animatronic. Either way, I think the Ringmaster will be really cool, and I cannot wait to see what he's going to look like. Moving on to Nibbles the Clown, which is either going to be a little, the little clown that's in the Ringmaster's cage, or it's going to be a brand new animatronic, probably a new clown, with just the same looks and everything, just bigger. I think that would be totally dumb to do that, but, you know, Spirit Props, they've, sometimes they make some dumb decisions like Johnny Punk or Wheelchair Granny, so... I'm not fully sure about Nibbles the Clown, we're just gonna have to see what he will look like in stores. Moving on to the person I probably have least to talk about, Bobby Strings. I think he's just going to be somebody like uh, the Mastrio in Little Daisy. I think that's just what he's going to be like. I mean, I just think he's going to be like some sort of evil puppeteer that laughs. I kind of feel like he's going to be a mix of e evil Mastrio and, and Little Daisy. And the mix, mix that with evil clown you got you know, bobby strings. Moving on to the animatronic I am by far most excited about, probably on this list, besides the blast from the past, Cotton Candy Dan. Now I think this dude is going to be somebody that is going to hold a little girl and he's going to be swirling her around in cotton candy and he's going to pick her up and she's going to be covered in cotton candy and she's going to be screaming. That would be such a cool idea for a clown or he's going to be something cool. I really hope he doesn't disappoint me. Now, I have a couple theories on this last one, Banabi the Bear. It could be something like the roaming little creepy teddy bear from, um, I believe, 20, 20, I think it was maybe 13 or 18. I'm not fully sure. Or he's going to be somebody like the trapper skin naughty bear from Dead by Daylight. Okay, so this part a lot of people are very excited about, and I'm not too sure. There's Art the Clown, Ghostface, Michael Myers, Emily and Victor. We've already had a terrible Ghostface animatronic. Michael Myers is probably the one I'm most excited about, and I already know my mom's gonna, she's been telling me no more animatronics all year, and I know she's gonna want Michael Myers. And then Emily and Victor, which I don't really care for because I've never seen the movie or whatever they're from, so that's not really what I care for. Um, so... Yeah, this part's not that special to me, honestly. This is the part I'm most excited about. Cerberus, Twitching Banshee, and Creepy Towering Clown. This is where I'm going to go broke this year. I found a Hugs the Clown on Facebook Marketplace that I want to order. So, it's between Cerberus and Twitching Banshee. Not really Creepy Towering Clown. I don't know what I want to order. Um, so I'm either going to get Cerberus or Twitching Banshee. <laughs> But either way, I am so excited for this part, even though I'm going to go totally broke for these blasts from the past. Because i got a feeling I'm going to get a Twitching Banshee, it's going to break, and then I'm going to buy another one. In the final part of this video, the curiosities. So there's a ton of people on here, like the Giant Death Ray, Night Terror, the Cremator, Gravestone Ghoul, Max Straw, Wanda Websworth, Dark Princess, Demonic Gatekeeper. I'm most excited about Demonic Gatekeeper, Night Terror, the Cremator and um that's really about it and max straw because i got a feeling that's gonna be cool too 
But without anything else until they release a new trailer, we have really no clue what the rest of these animatronics are going to look like until we get those release dates. But I just wanted to come on here and clear up everything I know and my theories before it does get released. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.